On today's episode, I have nothing on my screen, but I want you to focus in on that light right over here. Now, this light is supposed to illuminate all of this glorious real estate. That's not possible. So in today's episode, we're going to take a look at the basis I work screen light to help this puppy out. I mean, would you really want to do this all the time? And that's coming up. What's up guys? This is Hervé from Hervé's World showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech these great products. And you see this little light right up there? See the little light right there? Yeah, well, it's not possible for that light to encompass all of this glorious screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to be adding the Basius iWalk series to get the other side. Anything we discuss in the episode, you'll find right on the bottom over here. All the links will be on the bottom. And Sebastian, how am I supposed to go and work on my desk like this? That's not possible. So anything we find in this video, you'll find right on the bottom right over here. Let's get this thing going. And then we'll show you the coverage of all of the glorious light. What do you think? Exactly. Let's get this video started. Let the unboxing begin. Now this is a computer screen bar. It's an original from Basius iWalk. It's a stepless dimming screen lamp and it's going to do a couple things for you. This is a USB designed. It's a no glare on screen and it's USB powered so that you don't have to worry about an extra plug. Now this is going to have Intelligent stepless dimming. It's going to have no blue light hazard, no visible strobing. It's going to have a simple design, three lighting modes, and you'll be able to connect this directly to your computer, a charging stand, a power bank. Everything is built in. Now, this comes for $59.99. The one that I have before, it's a really, really good one. And I'll throw a link to that in the description, but this was a lesser model in comparison, but you can see how it looks. You have your power button on the side right over here. You have your bracket for on top. It comes with a space saving mode, which will allow you to put this in. It's gonna go on top of your device, of your monitor. It's really thin, so it adopts an anti-gravity uh, shaft, which will let you have the thickness of the screen illuminated. It's gonna be appropriate for hanging. Um, you're gonna be really, really good with this. This is the USB chamber. It also comes with a three temperature control. You're gonna have a range, color range, from 2900 Kelvin to about 5000 Kelvin. What you need to do here is to plug in the USB-C here, and we can pop it on. It's really a good design. You can see how it spins. And the other model that I had was $199. This is 59. But if I had my choice, I would definitely stick with the other one. I'll put the in the description on the bottom. Now, you're going to get the ability to have this illuminate your screen without adding any glare to your screen. That's going to give you a really good aspect. It's going to focus on the front area of lighting on your desk here, and it's going to give you a non-glare on your screen. It's going to give you the ability to adjust the light angle, focus the light where you need it, upon the desk and the keyboard and your files and not on the screen. Okay, so let's take a look. Now, the different power options you have here. 
It's USB-C at the base, and you're going to be able to connect this to a computer or a charging plug or power bank. Um, it's an ergonomic design, which is going to help you do that. Now, the stepless dimming on this is you're able to rotate this knob right over here to adjust the brightness freely and give you the different environments for lighting. It's a simplistic design, but let's see how we like okay. it. So I made it a little darker. So as you can see, we have our lights here. So this is the BenQ light. You can see how it illuminates the desk, but all of this area here is being neglected. So let's turn on the iWalk one. And you can see that the whole desk is now illuminated. If I turn off the BenQ, it has much more intricate uh, variations for brightness and lighting and actually hue. Here, you'd have to take a look. If I tap it again, you'll get a higher Kelvin. And if you tap it again, you'll go back to the white palette. Once again. And if you hold it, it turns off. So here's the BenQ. And as you can see, it's well lit. Let's turn this off. And now we're going to turn on the iWalk, the Basius one. So you can see that it gets this side really, really well. But when it comes to this side, we have nothing here. So once again, this kind of gets, but you can see where it gets diffused. We're good here and then you start losing the color palette here. But if we turn this on, now the, the whole desk is being illuminated. Okay, so let me show you. Okay. What the so if you need something for your desk to illuminate your desk and not the monitor, well, definitely take a look. You can see that the BenQ does not shine on my hand or not on the screen but this one bleeds just a little bit you can see the quality in the light but if you're looking for something that does actually work on your screen and your desk well for me it's going to be the BenQ but if you don't want to spend $199 and you needed something to do the job somewhat well then your choice is going to be the basis but honestly take the time spend a little bit more and you'll get a better better product with definitely a better Kelvin switch from here you get 2,000 to 5,000 Kelvin you get day and night mode but it's a better light for the value if you go here yeah it's a cheaper light but I don't like how it sits. If you take a look and focus in on the top, you can see this sits nicely protruded on and the angle of uh, attack here, it's not very good. If you try to put it down, the first thing you're going to see is it bleeds on the screen. So that's not good. And you can get it out a little bit more but you're sacrificing aesthetic looks of the monitor and that's gonna do for this episode. Well, does it work? It works. Are there better lights out there? Definitely. Between the Basius and the BenQ light, your choice clearly is the BenQ. But if you're looking for something that shines your desk and shines your screen and shines your keyboard, well, the basiest iWalk series. I guess it's for you. Well, that's going to do for this episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. This time we compared the BenQ light to the basiest iWalk series. It's hands down. You have to go with the BenQ. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If this video gets 4,000 likes, well, my friends, this will go to one lucky subscriber. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. 
And hey, if you didn't try it, how are you going to know?